I the door for late arrivals. Sure. Okay. I don't think anybody else will come though. Okay, I don't think so either. Okay. Well, you'll get the feel of it. That's why we're starting with something simple. So let me give you your first tip. Okay. Just uh, hold your hand out like this. Okay. That's a slap. Okay. This this is a push. All right. That's a push. That's a slap. Right now you're slapping. What I want you to do is push. Just give it a push. Okay? Just give it a push. Nice gentle push. Yep. All right. You're doing great. You've improved a lot in the last 90 minutes, so <laughs> hang in there. Bob, you're doing great. How are you? I haven't seen you. I saw you last week, right? Uh, well, 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 Two weeks ago? Uh, Three weeks ago? Okay. Well, you were practicing at home, right? Oh, okay. So, there's some people in this group that have been uh, through 101. Uh, there's one person who's been through 101 twice. Um, there's some people in this group who've never been through any of this stuff. So, we've got kind of a mix of levels, uh, but we are going to be able to teach these people rules today because um, there's enough here to work with. Uh, that group that we just had would have been more problematic. Um, they did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody gets better. Yeah. Well, almost everybody. Virtually everybody gets better. Tubes. Very good, Bob. You have improved so much. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. Well done. Oh, thank you. Oh, dot hitter. Every time you hit a dot, you have to buy her flowers, though. That's the way it works. <laughs> All right, ladies, I'm going to get you to come in. All right, so remember your paddle for a second? We're not hitting the ball very far. So we don't need to bring the paddle behind our bodies. We just keep the paddle up front and just give it a push. 
right? Because we're not we're not hitting the ball very far. We're just going from dot to dot. You should be able to do that without bringing the paddle behind you, and it'll help you control it. Okay. You're welcome. There you go. Very good. Much better, ladies. Oh, that one was a little hard. <laughs> All right. So we're not hitting the ball very hard, and you're a very strong guy. Okay. So if you bring the racket back behind you, it's okay. going to go too far every time. So just try and keep the racket up in front of you and just give the ball a little push. Yeah, if you okay. if you bring it back here, you're gonna you're gonna hit it too hard. I'll, I'll try to subdue the inner mackinac. Yeah, play smaller. <laughs> play smaller. All right, Ray, I'm going to give you a tip. So right now, you're bringing the racket behind you. Right. You don't need to because we're only hitting the ball a short. Try not to hit it past the red dot. So just keep the racket in front of you and just give it a little push. All right? All right? Yeah. Oh, try not to hit past the dot. You guys will have more control if you try and not hit past the dot, right? It's nice and easy. OK. Everybody pause for one second. We're going to do our first rotation. So Sapphire is going to be our anchor. Sapphire is not going to move, but everybody else is going to rotate one position clockwise around Sapphire. So is it Doug? Jay. Jay's going to come down here. Barb's going to slide over. You're going to slide over here. You're going to slide over one. There we go. Right there. You got it. Okay, now rally with the partner across the net from you. <coughs> No, yeah, you're going to be there. <coughs> Sorry? Good control, you guys. Well done. Very good. Good control. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So I need to try not to hit it past your dot. Okay. okay? Why not get it? will make it easier for her. Okay, so what we're going to do is, it's important that they have an opportunity to play and to watch from the sidelines because some people play, some people learn better when they watch from the sidelines. Okay. Playing is just too much information for them. So we're going to divide them into two groups of five. We'll have four people on the court, one person on the sidelines, and then we'll just do a five-person rotation on each court. I'll demonstrate what we're doing on one court, and then you guys will go do the same thing on the other court. Okay. All right, everybody. Awesome. Let's pick up all the dots. Put all the dots and the balls in the hoppers right by your nets. And then we're going to get everybody to come down to this court, please. 
Joe Lynn and I are going to do a demonstration with Jay and Maggie, Megan. Sorry, Megan. You're going to be on this row. We missed a couple of dots here. Get this dot and that dot. Awesome. Thank you. Everybody, come on right over here under the sideline, please. Right in here. I want you nice and close so you can see me. Yeah, right in here. Come right in. Right in. There we are. Everybody should be along the sideline. Okay. So we're going to play. We're just going to rally a little bit. We're going to use as our boundary lines this blue line, that blue line, the outside green line, and the outside green line. Okay. So we're just going to have a rally. It's going to start with what we're going to call a serve. Right? Serve just means the first shot of the game. And we're just going to go diagonally within the boundaries to that player. And then the four of us are just going to rotate. Go ahead. Can rotate. Awesome. 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 Out. So that landed outside the blue line. So we're going to call that out. We're going to stop. And we're going to start again with the serve. This time Megan's going to serve. She's going to serve diagonally to Jay. Out. Okay, so pause. No, just as soon as it's out, stop and reserve. Now Jay is going to serve diagonally to Megan. Underhand into the blue, between the blue lines. You can bounce it or not. Out. Okay, pretty hard, isn't it, Jay? So the blue line is our is our baseline. It needs to land inside between the two blue lines. There we go. Boom, boom. Awesome. That was out. All right. Everybody understands what we're doing? I really want everybody to learn the out call. So we're learning to serve diagonally and we're learning to call out. So if the ball's out, out means stop. So we're going to stop the ball. So one, two, three, four, five. You five are going to go over to that court with Joel in. Let me show you the rotation. Okay, so I'm going to get Janet to be our fifth player here. So our game is played with the four people here and Janet. So let's play a point. Yep, just play it. Go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. Out. Okay, so now we're going to rotate. Janet's going to go in. Right, you're going to come over there. She's going to come over here. Jay's going to come over there. And somebody's going to serve and we're going to... Every loss of every loss end of rally. Yeah, every out. Sorry? Yeah. So blue line to blue line, and then the side green line to the outside green line. Okay? You'll you'll learn the lines as we play the game. Okay? So these five are gonna be here. Those five are gonna be down there. Uh, were you uh, you were going down there, right? Okay, you're with those people, yeah? Okay. And you're going to be right here, Mar Barb. Yep, exactly. Yep, you're going to be right here. And we're, you're going to be one of the rotators. Yep. All right. So go ahead and start a rally, Jay. Go ahead and start a rally. No, you have to be outside, yes. You have to be outside. The ball can bounce anywhere. It doesn't matter where the ball is. Oh, oh, out. Okay, so now you can start a new rally, but rotate. You're in now, Barb. You're in. That the serve is diagonal. But the maps is out. Anywhere. 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 You can hit it to any player. I'll take that. Right. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Thank you very much. It was in. Oh, and that was out. Okay, rotate one position. So you're going to be here, Sapphire. Janet can serve to Megan. Good. Okay, rotate one position. You guys have to call out, though. When the ball is out, I want you to call out. You can serve, Barb. Out. Okay, rotate one position.
Uh, yeah, we're only playing in the kitchen right now. So we're teaching them three things here. We're teaching them the service diagonal. We're teaching them that some balls are out. Yeah. Uh, and we're teaching them what a rally is. Okay. Rally starts with a serve. It ends when the ball is out or it doesn't cross the net or bounces twice. Okay. That's where we start. That's okay. our foundation. Out! Oh! Good. Oh, good rally. Okay, rotate one. Out. Oh, oh. Okay, hang on one second. Everybody come in. Okay, if a ball is going out, but you choose to hit it, it's not out. It's only out if it hits the ground and it's out. If you're standing out and you hit a ball, the rally continues, right? It's only out when it hits the ground. Okay, so when I was saying... Exactly, exactly. Yep. Yeah, we're staying behind the blue line for now. Out. Okay. So let's rotate one position. You're here, Barb. Rotate one position. You can serve. We're serving diagonally. Nice. 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 Out. Good job. Okay, rotate one position. Out. Okay, rotate one position. Out. Oh, rotate one position. Ah, uh, oh. Out. Okay, rotate one position. Uh, we're going to bring everybody in in one second. Okay, everybody, come on in, please. We're all going to meet over in this court right here. Come on in. You guys stay on the court. You four stay on the court. I'm going to replace you, though, Christine, for a moment, okay? All right, so everybody, come on in here where you can hear me, please. Okay, so we're going to keep side conversations to a minimum. If you have a question, ask me. Um, uh, just because that helps my brain keep track of what's going on. Okay, um, so we're going to learn uh, how to win a rally now. So we learned what a rally is. Rally starts with a serve. It ends when the ball's out or fails to cross the net or bounces twice on the court. Now we're going to learn who wins a rally. 
So we're serving to start this rally. I'm going to start to Milena. Okay? So, boom, boom. Oh, it didn't cross the net. Who won the rally? We did. Our team won the rally. So our reward is we get to serve again. So I served that. So I won the rally. Right? So I get to serve again. But we're going to change positions because I can't serve from the same place twice in a row. Okay? So now I'm going to serve to Marco. There we go. Good job. Out! Who won the rally? Right. What's my reward? I get to serve again, but I can't serve from the same place twice. Right? That would just be boring. Okay, here we go. Another rally. Oh, we want another rally. <laughs> Believe me, Marco, so does she. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so uh, that would be another point for us. Okay, we won the rally. Here we go. Oh, good job. Out. See, say I want another partner. Say I want another partner. All right, who won the rally? We do this. There we go. We won the rally. Okay, so we won five, well, five rallies in a row now, right? So we've got five or six rallies in a row. Six points. So the game would go to 11. We're not going to keep scoring yet, but each time that we win a rally, we get a point. Yeah. Yeah, we're coming to that. So now it's my turn to serve to Milena, but I duff a serve into the net. Oh, but guess what? My partner hasn't served yet. So now my partner gets to serve. All right. What's that? I've lost my serve. It's going to lose its serve in a second. Yeah, go ahead and yeah, we'll get there. You guys are jumping ahead. Oh, that was out. Okay. So now I've had a chance to serve. My partner's had a chance to serve. We are side out, which means the ball is crossing the net, and now the person on the right over there is going to serve. Okay, good job. Melaine is going to serve to me. That's in. Good job. Nice. Good. It's in again. In. Awesome. Oh, well done. You guys get. Who won the rally? Yeah. Who won the rally? Your, your team did. That's right. Exactly. You got it. That would be a point. Good. Nice. Oh, I almost had you, Marco. You get another point. So now, what's your reward? Exactly. Okay. Nice. Good. Oh. Oh, guys, a superstar. Oh, look at this. Out. Is that out? Yeah. Out. Good rally, though. Awesome. Okay, so Milena lost her serve, so now Marco's going to serve. Yes. Yeah, you can move all around the court. Yeah, you don't need to stay on your side. Generally, you're going to, but sometimes there is a situation in which you might cross it. Okay, so we're going to go back to our courts now, uh, and we're just going to practice what we just learned. Who serves? Who? We're not going to keep score yet. We're just going to figure out one serve, two serves, side out, one serve, two serves, side out, and all that. Okay, so back to your groups. You know what we're doing, Joanne? Play a few points. Play a few points, and then just ro somebody rotates in. Just play a few points, and somebody rotates in. Okay. All right. Who was on the sideline? You set out. Okay. No, just just for this game. Just for this game. Okay. So we're going to play a few points, and then I'm going to sub Janet in. And then for somebody, and then we'll play a few more points and I'll sub somebody else in. I want everybody to have a chance to learn while playing and to learn while watching. Okay? All right, so Jay is going to start. Out! 
Okay, so what happens? Second serve. Out. That's out. Okay, point for you guys. That was in. Oh! Okay. So that's side out, because you both had a serve, right? Side out, so it's going to be your serve. One second. One second. I'm going to switch Sapphire and, and, uh, and uh, Megan. Or sorry, Janet and Megan. I have too many names to remember here. Okay, here we go. Oh, didn't cross the net. That's a point. Good stuff. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice point. Okay, so that's second serve now. So Barb is going to serve. Out. Okay, that's a point for Barb. So, good job. Out. That's another point for Barb. Yep. Yep. Another point for Barb. Barb's on fire. Oh, another point for Barb. Okay, you're going to sub in for Sapphire. They've lost their serve. It's side out. Person on the right serves. So Janet's going to serve. Come in. Yep. There we are. Oh, point for Janet. Janet got a point. Oh, point for Janet. Oops, sorry. Out. So another point for Janet. Did I mess up? Was I wrong? Oh, that was in. That was in. That was in. Okay, so what happens? Now it's your serve. So second serve now. Oh, side out. <laughs> You get one turn attempt to serve. Yeah. But each team, each team member gets a turn. Out. So that is Barb's point. Out. Another point for Barb. Okay. You guys got this. You guys got this. So keep playing. I'm going to go down and get them. Okay. Out. 
Okay, you guys are doing great. Come with me. We're going to go down here and we're going to learn something new. Okay, pause, guys. Okay, this is my team of superstars. Everybody line up here. We're going to watch the superstars. Okay, so we're going to learn the most important calls now. We're going to learn the most important calls now. We're going to start a new game. Hang on one second. We're going to have Barb serve. We're going to have Barb serve. We're going to start a new game. Okay, so Barb is going to serve. The calls that we are going to learn are, we've already learned out, right? We're going to learn second serve and side out. And one other one. It'll come to, oh, and point. Okay, so here we go. Barb's going to serve. Uh, no, not out. It didn't land out. Okay. There is no name for that. It just didn't cry. It's, it's a point for Barb. So that's point. Okay, Barb is going to serve. Out. Out. Okay, so second serve. You guys are paying attention over there? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Something something unusual happened here, which I was I wasn't gonna cover out yet. I wasn't gonna cover yet, but now I have to. Megan. Okay. So Megan volleyed with one foot on the ground in the kitchen, which is a fault. Okay. I'm gonna come back to that because if I don't, Ray's gonna blow a gasket. Okay? I'm not gonna cover that right now. We'll cover that later. Okay, but Ray's right. That is a fault. You can't vault. This area is called the no volley zone. The no volley zone has only one thing you can't do in it. Can you guess what it is? You can't volley. Right? The no volley zone means no volley. Okay? But we'll come back to that. Okay. So, uh, who served that? Okay. No, we did we not cover volley and ground stroke earlier, or was that the lesson an hour ago? Okay. Ground stroke hits the ground first, then you hit it with your racket. Ground stroke hits the ground, then you hit it with your racket. A volley, you hit it before it bounces. So if you hit a ball out of the air before it bounces, that's a volley. What we're doing is called a rally. A rally. So there's a rally and there's a volley. They're different things. In this area. Okay. We'll cover that. We'll cover that later. Okay, who served that? You did. Did you guys win the point? Okay, so we're going to call that a fault. Okay, so that's a side out now. Side out is when both teams have had a serve. Okay, Jay's going to serve. Oh, okay, point for Jay. Out. Point for Jay. Okay, so you guys know what we're doing, right? We're going to go back to our courts. We're going to call point, second serve, and side out. Those are the three calls we're working on. Plus, out. Remember, out. We're going to learn it over there. Yeah? We're going to explain it over there. Joe, can you stay here with this group? And I'm going to go with this group. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. So come on in for a second. Because we've got to address, address Milena's question. Milena wants to know what a side out is. So, if this team has their first serve and loses it, and they have their second serve and they lose it, we have a side out, which means the ball is being going from this side of the court to this side of the court, and this team is now going to serve. That's what a side out is, right? So, you keep getting points until you lose your serve, then your partner keeps getting points until they lose their serve, and then we have a side out. Side out means the ball's changing sides. Yep. Of the game? Okay. So the question is, how do we decide who takes the first serve? Okay. So the player on the right will always serve first. So the player on the right in this court will always serve first when they get the ball. Player on the right will always serve first on this court when they get the ball. At the start of the game, 
the player on the right on the court that's furthest from the main entrance will always serve. So in this facility, that player will always serve first. And in most facilities, the, the, the player furthest away from the main entrance will serve. Okay? All right, so Malayne is going to serve. And you're going to be on the sideline. So what's your name? Are you Megan too? I have two Megans today. Okay. All right. Here we go. Out. All right. Second serve. Oh, Marco with the trick spin serve. All right, so what do we have now? You got it, side out. What do we have now? Correct, exactly. Okay, so who serves? Why? He's on the right, exactly. Yep, here we go. We'll get there. We're just going to give it another minute. All right. Now you can switch. You, Milena, switch with uh, Megan. Yeah. All right, so that's a point, right? So we've had a point. Go ahead, Marco. Out. What do we have? Point. Exactly. Out. What do we have? Second serve. Out. What do we have? Point. No, nope, just point. Yep. Oh, look at that. Now what? Side out. Right. All right. So you're going to sub in for Ray. Ray, you're going to come over here. Out. Point. Exactly. Out. What do we have? Second serve. Out. What do we have? Side out. Side out. Yep. All right. What do we have? Point. Point. All right, you guys keep playing. You guys got this. I'm just going to go down and make sure they got it. I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, no, second serve. Second serve. Yeah. All right, do they have it? Yeah. They got it? Okay. Okay, everybody. Everybody's got it. We're going to go take a drink. Let's go have a drink and a chat in the lobby. Out. Okay, great. We're gonna, everybody's got it, so we're going to go have a drink and, uh, and a bathroom break and a uh, conversation in the lobby. So grab your water bottles and then come on in here. We're going to have a little chat while we're having our rest. Yeah. There's an 85-page rule book. There's an 85-page rule book. We're only going to cover, we're only hitting like the highlights of 10 pages. Okay? Just enough to get you started.
You have your whole lives to learn the other 75 pages. And believe me, there's somebody out there in your future who's going to teach you every damn rule <laughs> while you're playing with them. Um, okay, so if you've ever left anything here before, there's going to be, it's going to be in here in the lost and found. If you left clothing, it's going to be hanging up in the corner. If you left a water bottle or something, it's going to be up here on this shelf. Um, every time I teach a lesson, somebody leaves something behind. Please don't be that person today. Um, when we leave the room, remember to take all your stuff with you. Uh, any questions about what the material that we've just covered? I'm sure there's lots of questions. Okay, well, ask me the question. Well, when we were talking about the folly earlier, yep. um, that you can't step in before the council, but then so does the place stop after the blue line? Yeah. Um, what I said was not quite what you quoted me on saying, um, but I understand why you think what I, I said that. I'm going to cover that for sure. Uh, let me talk a little bit about it right now. Okay, so the no volley zone is the area between the blue line and the net. There's only one thing you can't do in there, and that's volley a ball. So hit a ball out of the air while any part of your body is touching any part of that no ball volley zone. Or hit, and as part of your follow through, step into the no volley zone. So keep it like a Superman dive. Yep. As long as you don't touch, like if you hit a shot and then ah, touch the ground inside the no volley zone, that's going to be a fall. Or if you hit a shot and then stop inside the no volley zone, that's going to be a fall. Or if any part of your body is touching the ground, volley, no volley zone, while you volley, that's going to be a fall. There are lots of faults around the no volley zone. Well, all I want you to remember coming out of today is that you're not allowed to volley while you're in the no volley zone. Right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, you can reach in and take a ball out of the air. That's legal. Okay? As long as you're not touching the ground. In the no volley zone. Yep, you can reach in. Yeah, if you're standing in the kitchen yeah. and the ball comes and it goes by you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, the ground stroke. So, if you're standing in the kitchen and you reach back and you volley a ball that's outside of the kitchen, it's still a fault. Because it's not about where the ball is, it's about where you are when you hit the ball. Everybody but understand? It bounces, it bounces, you're fine. Yeah. You, can, you can take your phone into the kitchen and surf stuff on the internet if you want. You can eat your lunch in the kitchen. You can make your lunch in the kitchen. You just cannot hit a ball out of the air while you're in the kitchen. All right, any other questions? For sure, yeah. So the, the court is the entire boundaries of the court, but right now the group doesn't have enough experience to control rallies from out there. So I wanted to everybody playing in the kitchen so that we could actually have some rallies and get a sense of the ebb and flow of the game and points and side out and rally and stuff. We're going to get to the full court in the last half of the class here, but I, uh, when I'm teaching scorekeeping, if people are trying to remember what all the lines are and all that stuff, it just gets too confusing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in the room and we're going to learn the scorekeeping, how the scorekeeping works. And then after that, we're going to back up to the full court, learn what a serve is, and then we're going to try and play a game. Okay? Uh, I do want to remind everybody that you, this is not just a one-time only course. A lot of people struggle with the rules on the first the first time they take the course and they take it a second time. You're welcome to take it a second time, third time, fourth time, as many times as you want. After 102, we have another course called 103, which is more practice for beginners, on which we learn to, to, uh, to play the game and work on our strokes at the same time. So we try and actually play a whole game, but it's coached. There's a coach there who's helping you both learn how to play and learn how to learn the rules at the same time. A lot of people want that as an extra confidence builder before they go to play drop. -in. Okay, so we're going to go back in the room now and we're going to learn to do points. We're all going to go over to the court over here and we're going to play a game with our superstars.
All right, superstars, you guys are going to be on that side of the net. Uh, Joe Lynn and I are going to be on this side of the net. You can be on there with Ray. Right? Everybody else, right on this sideline right here, please. I want you to come in nice and close between the two blue lines, right on the sideline. Everybody come in nice, give, give each other COVID. Yeah, just slide right up. Slide over, Ray. Keep, create some room. Create some room. There we go. Everybody in here. All right. All right. Here we go. Ray, Jay, sorry, I was calling you Ray. Jay is going to serve. We're going to keep score now. Ready? Awesome. There we go. Second serve. Nice. Point. So it's one for them. Yeah. All right. So one zero. Out. Side out. Our serve. Jolin serve. I just one zero. One zero. Good stuff. Nicely done. Oh, that bounced twice. We get a point. One one. Out. Second serve. My serve. Oops. You got one? Thanks. Yeah. All right. One one. Nice. Oh, so we're side out. What's the score? 1-1. One, one. Out. Second serve. What's the score? Yep. Out. What happens? Side out. Okay, so we've advanced in the game. We have three, they have seven. Right? So we played the game. We played blah, 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 fast forward. Okay, so it's now three, seven. So my team is serving, so I call our score first. Three, seven. Okay? Oh, that, that was supposed to go out. Oh, that was out. Okay, so four, seven. Right? So now the score is four, seven. He's being tricky. He's being tricky. He's being tricky. Don't let him be tricky. Don't let him be tricky. Nice. Oh, look at that. What happened, Jay? 5-7. Five, 5-7. Seven. Five, seven. Okay, so that's how the scoring works, right? We call our, si our score first. Question. No, you have to call the score before you serve. Okay? Now, there's a little wrinkle. We haven't introduced the. Have you ever heard them play pickleball? They call out three numbers. The third number is the server. Right? So it's 5 7. I'm the first server on our side. Right? So the score is 5 7 1. Okay? We're going to play. Here we go. 5 7 1. Out. So now the score is 5-7-2. Out. 6-7-2. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Side out. What's the score? 7-6-1. Correct. Second serve, 762. Correct. Out. What's what's this what happens? Side out. Okay, what's the score? 
671. Okay, so you got it. Everybody understands how it works now. So we're going to go back and we're going to play our little game, the same little game we've been playing. I'm going to send one, two, three, four, five down to that court. Everybody else is going to stay on this court. We're going to play our games. We're going to keep score. We're going to keep track of the server. Uh, you can rotate anything, like whenever there's a kind of a natural break. All right. You have a grin. Are you okay? Okay, good. You want to start over there? Okay. Marco's going to start on the sideline. Marco's going to be our umpire. Whoever is on the sideline is going to be our umpire. They're going to make sure that the score is being called right and the correct person is serving. Okay. Who serves? Person on the right, furthest from the door. Yep. All right. Point. What's the score? Right. Out. Yeah, I'll get to that. I know what you're asking about, but we'll get to that. Okay. Yeah, so 201. She's the first server. Is that your question? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so second serve. What's the score, Sapphire? 202, correct. Out. Oh, what happens? Side out. What's the score? Exactly, 021. Yep, she's number one. Just, in, just until you learn it. Then it's not confusing anymore. What's the score? Zero, two, two. Exactly. Uh-oh. Side out. What's the score? Zero, yeah, we're going to do that in a second. What's the score? Two, zero, one. Correct. Hang on. Uh, Marco's going to switch with Christine. Christine's going to become our umpire now. Okay? Keep going. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah. Out. Out. Score. Okay, so. Okay, just replay then. Replay. Side out, okay. Yeah, you want to sub? Sub in? You okay, Christine? Yeah, okay. We're going to sub out. You okay, Melina? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Second serve. Or is that side out? <coughs> Sorry, I stand corrected. Side out. Is it one for one? Okay.
Oh, nice shot! He didn't let it go. <coughs> no, he landed in. He landed on the line. One four two. Two four two. <laughs> okay, last point, then we're going to call everybody in. Okay, let's bring everybody in. Let's bring everybody in. Oh, okay. Everybody has a sense of how we keep score now, right? Everybody has a sense of how we keep score now? Okay, so let's talk about lines. In pickleball, if a ball lands on a line, it's in. The lines are in. Except, <laughs> except this line, the blue line on the serve. So the blue line on the serve, if it touches the blue line, it's out. If it touches any of the line, it's in. Please don't ask me why. It's just one of the irrational, illogical things that we have about pickleball. Okay? Uh, yeah. Um, so if a ball lands, can I have a ball? There we are. If a ball lands here, oops, hang on one second. Okay. Is that in or out, Ray? It's in. it's in. Okay. Megan, come over here. Is it in or out? I mean, I think. Okay. Everybody come over to this side and look at that ball. Okay, so the rule book says if I can see white space between the line and the ball. From back here or over yeah, top of it. That's, that's, we're coming to that. Okay, if I, from whatever perspective I have, can see white space between the line and the ball, it's out. Okay, so I have to call that out. But if I'm standing here, can I see white space between the line and the ball? Can't. So, if Ray and I are partners, Ray has to call that out. I can't. Right? Because according to the rules, I can't see any white space between the line and the ball. So if we disagree, which we can, because from my perspective, that ball is clearly in. From his perspective, that ball is clearly out. We have to make the call that benefits the other team. Right? So if they had hit the ball to us, we would have to call that in. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a really important rule. So you're going to be calling the lines on your side of the court. You have to call your lines fairly. Right? Ray sees this out. I see that in. We're both right. He's telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Right? I'm not lying. He's not lying. We're both telling the truth. But we disagree. We have to make the call that benefits the team on the other side of the net. Okay? That's no, is that? Or have a drink. There are no replays and there's no Hawkeye, right? So we have to call the lines fairly. I want everybody to be aware that lines are in, but depending on your perspective, right, the calls can be different, right? And it doesn't mean your partner's bad or can't see the lines. It, ha it happens, yeah, very high, very high. So if, when in doubt, always make the call for the other team and hope that they will do the same for you. Most people will, right? Okay, so lines are going to be out. We're going to back up now to the serve. Joe, can you go over there? Everybody, I want everybody on this side of the line, except for Marco, who's going to be over there. He's going to be my partner. And Ray, who's going to be Joe Lynn's partner right there. 
Okay, when we serve, we serve from outside of the baseline. Marco, you're going to stay back here with me. Okay? When we serve, we serve from outside of the baseline. If I'm touching any part of the court surface, when I make contact with the ball, that would be a service ball. Okay? I have to serve diagonally. So that means I, my serve has to go from this side of the court to that side of the court. If it touches the center line, is it in? Yes. If it touches the blue line, is it in? No. Exactly. So is this serve in or out? It's in. Okay? Joel, in, serve back to me. Was that in or out? Out. Correct. Marco's going to serve now. Marco's going to serve to Ray. In or out? Okay. Awesome. What about this one? Oh, I missed. Was it in? Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me do it on the back half. Let's try it again. There we go. In or out? Out. Exactly. Okay. So, we're just going to go back. We're not going to play a whole game yet. We're just going to go back and we're going to practice with four people, one ball on each court, just serving, calling ins and outs. So that's in. We're not going to hit it back. We're just going to catch it. You're going to catch it. Here we go. In. In. Okay, serve it back to me. In. Good job, Marco. In or out? In. Ray, serve it. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to Nick. We'll get to that in one second. Okay? Try again, Ray. Okay, that was in. I'm gonna answer that question in one sec. Give me the ball. Let me serve. Okay. Okay. In? Huh? It's a fault. Exactly. It's a fault. Because I was in the surface. Okay. So come on in. <clears throat> Marco just asked me a question. If I'm serving, does he also have to stand behind the line as my partner? The answer is no, he doesn't have to. He can stand anywhere he wants. He can even come and stand in the kitchen. right? But it would be dumb to do that because of the two-bounce rule, which we haven't covered yet, which I will get to right after the serve. Okay. So generally, when you're serving, you want to stay back with your partner. Uh, we're going to go back to our courts now, the court you were just on, and we're going to practice serving and do some rotations. Okay? You were here. That's right. Who else was here? All right. There you go. Marco, you're going to serve. Uh, Sapphire and Janet. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. I'm out. Okay, you gonna start out? Okay. Uh, actually, it's her serve because she's furthest from the door. Okay, so practice serving. Well, you don't have to, but you want to because she could serve it right through that line, right? Okay, go up. That was short, so that didn't cross the blue line, so that's a fault. So now you serve. In. Okay, give the ball to somebody else to serve. Out. That's a fault. Okay, you're going to serve, Melina. In. Nicely done. Sapphire. Yeah, let's rotate one. Let's rotate one. So you're going to be in. Christine, you're going to be here. You're going to be here. You okay? Do you have a question? Do you have a question? Okay. Oh! Underhand. Underhand. Yeah, only underhand. Try again. Try again. What's that? No, only underhand. In. Good stuff. Okay, you can serve back to her, Janet. Your turn, Janet. Try. Try again. Close. I think it was just, just out. Okay, now let's Sapphire try. Good stuff. Yeah. 
That's in. Okay, it was in, right? It's on that side of the green line. Okay, now you can serve it back. In. Okay, everybody's had a serve. Let's rotate one position. How are we doing? We're not playing, just catch. Now it's your turn to serve. Nice try, a little short. That, huh, it would be, but better try again. Okay, wrong side. Oh. All right, Janet's going to try now. Good. Oh, just out, Janet. Okay, let's rotate one. We're going to call everybody in, and we're going to do a play demonstration point. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Okay, come on in on the sidelines here. Marco and uh, Jolene on that side. And Jay, come and be my partner. Thank you. Okay, a couple of things you don't know. Two bounce rule. Every rally starts with a serve, bounce, return, bounce before we can volley. So I'm going to serve it to you and you're going to return it to me, okay? Serve, bounce, return, bounce. Now we can volley. Yep. So now we can volley. So we're just going to hit two shots and we're going to stop. Are we ready? Okay, so serve, bounce, return, bounce. Now we can volley. So you cannot volley before two bounces. If you volley before the two bounces, it's a fault. Let me show it to you one more time. Actually, Marco, you can serve. Marco's going to serve to me. Okay. Serve, bounce, return, bounce, and now we can volley. Oh, geez, Joe in with her tricky shots. Okay, but that would have been a legal volley, right, unless I was in the kitchen, okay? And then the other thing you don't know is about scorekeeping. The serving team only gets one serve to start. They don't get two. So when we call the serving team score, we say 0-0, zero, zero, start. So we're going to play a little few points now just to show you how that looks. Okay, so we're starting the game at 0-0 zero, zero, start. That's why, you, that's why you stay back. Okay, so what happens? Side out. Yes, because they only get one attempt to serve. Right, so now what's the score? Zero, zero, 001, correct. Are you ready, Marco? I'm serving to you. You don't have to be, but if you're not, I'm going to serve it right into your feet. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Good job. So that's, that's why you stand back. Otherwise, I'm going to serve it right into your feet. Okay? Awesome. Okay. So that's a point for us. One, Jay, you're over here. One, zero, uh, one, zero, one. Okay, so now it's second serve. Jay, what's the score? Call the score before you serve. Correct, one, zero, two. Thank you. In. All right. Nice job. Two zero two. Two zero two. It's in. And that's in. Oh. Okay. So my ball hit the net. That's fine. Play continues, unless it lands out. Okay, so now you should know enough to start to play a game.
So one, two, three, four, five. You're going down to that court. Everybody else is on this court. Same, same thing. We're going to have a five-person rotation. All right. Anybody can start. You looking for a washroom? Yeah. Okay. Who was that? Is that the renter? Is that the renter? I heard a buzzer. Did you let somebody in? Oh, okay. Yeah. One second. The person you let in, was it a man or a woman? Was it a man? Long hair? Find anybody, Jo Lynn? No. Yeah, she let in a man. I don't know. No. Did open that. Let's go room by room. No, nobody in here. No. See now, now this this name Alvera she can be here. So it makes. Okay, hang on. Let me check the stairwell. Do you check the stairwell? No. Hello. Hello. Nobody, nobody here. Okay. You check those storage rooms. Did you check the storage room? They're all. Uh, there's one that's not locked. The chair one. The yeah. table chair one. The middle one. That one. And the other ones are locked. Hello. No. I did yell in the bathroom. That one's locked. Oh no, it's not locked. Nobody here. Nobody this one. Okay, how is that possible? You might have used the washroom and left. Yeah. Okay, you go check the room. Stay at well, keep an eye on the students. I'll check upstairs.
If you see if you see a man with long hair, come and let me know immediately. Okay? There was a guy with long hair in here, and we don't know where he is. Oh. I don't think he's in the building anymore, but if you see somebody, let me know immediately. Nice. Is that a legal volley? Yeah. No, no, because it didn't bounce the second time. Okay, there you go. So, it's got to be two bounces. It wasn't illegal because she was in the kitchen. It was illegal because you got to let her bounce twice. He's not in the building. I went through the whole building. There's nobody here. He must have used the washer on the left. So. Um, but I did tell Susan if they see a guy with long hair in the building, come and get me immediately. So, yeah. And we'll check the video before we leave here. You know how to check the video? Oh, okay. I don't know how to check it either. Okay. It's okay. We'll check it uh, on Monday. Is this thing still green? Yeah. It is? Okay. Have you been rotating in? Yeah. Okay. They're quite the athlete. That was nice. Oh, what a great shot, Ray. That must be why they call him Killer Ray. <laughs> Super Ray? Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. Short. It was a fault. Zero two two. Have you rotated in, Janet? Have you had a rotation in? Okay. Are you are you doing okay? Yeah, I think it's harder. It's learning now. It's learning the harder shots, right? Yes. Good. I'm glad you enjoy it. Awesome. Okay, everybody, come on in for a second, please. I got one more thing to teach you. Come right in here, please. Right in here, JoLynn. JoLynn and I are going to be partners against um, Ray and Marco. Barb, you're going to step on the sideline. Marco, you're in there. Okay, Marco's going to be serving. Right? Okay. JoLynn and I are partners. We want to volley as soon as we can. It's not our serve, right? They're serving. We want to volley as soon as we can because the first team to volley usually wins the point, right? But we have to let the ball bounce twice to start the rally, right? We know Marco's going to serve to her, so one bounce is going to be there. We know she's going to hit the ball back to one of those two, so they have to stay back for the bounce. But I'm not going to be involved, so I can come right here right now and be ready for the first opportunity to volley right so he's back the server's back the service partner is back yep you want to get to here as soon as you can so my partner's back but i'm going to be forward so the receiver's partner is always forward go ahead and play the point That's why, right? I'm right here because I know that ball's coming through the middle. I want the opportunity to volley as soon as I can because that puts pressure on that team, right? So you have to be aware of that, and we want to make sure that we position ourselves correctly. So that's what we're going to do for the last five minutes. We're going to make sure that we're lined up correctly. So the, the server is back. The server's partner is back. 
the receiver is back, but the receiver's partner is forward. Okay, so let's go back to our courts and let's learn that. Okay? Coach, yes. Question right now. Oh, no, I hit a volley. I can hit it anywhere in the court, as long as I'm not in the kitchen. Yep. Yeah, so when he's there, yeah, he just can't yeah, I can't step in here and volley it. I had to take it out here. Okay. All right, so you guys go ahead and play. Just about some Megan on Megan violence there. Hey. How you doing? You getting it? Yeah, yeah. yeah good. Yeah. Enjoying it? Oh, yeah. Good. It is, yeah. Out! That's why a lot of people take it twice. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice shot, Megan. Nice. Okay, everybody, come on in, please. Come on in. All right, if you have anything in this room, I want you to take it out. If you have anything in this room, I want you to take it out with you. We're going to go chat in the lobby. If you have anything in this room, I want you to take it out of the room with you. I don't want you to accidentally leave anything behind. I don't see anything, but... How you doing? Awesome. I was supposed to play pickleball today. You took my spot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Really? Why? I just travel and oh, okay. a lot of work and personal right. stuff. That sucks. Okay, everybody, we're going to have a little chat. We're going to have a little chat. Come on in. All right, so any questions about what we did today? Yes, absolutely. A lot of people take 102 a couple times. I've seen some people take it three times. You can take any of our courses as many times as you want until you're fully confident. One opportunity to serve. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then if, when it's the second person, then it's like they one to two, right? Yeah, one second. Susan, Susan, can you ask your group to keep it down while I finish my lesson? All right. Sorry, what was the question? So uh, after the start, does it go to the other side or is there still a second serve? No. So the starting team gets one opportunity to serve. They keep serving until that person loses their serve. Then it's a side out, right? It's just at the start of the game that that happens. Yeah. That's the only time you use the word start. Okay. I'm telling these guys to be quiet. All right, other questions? Okay, well, if you have any other questions, you can reach me by email through the same webpage where you signed up. Uh, 103 is the next course. I would encourage most of you to take it, all of you if you can. Um, feel free to retake 102, retake 101. You can take any of our courses as many times as you want. Um, and depending on where you're at, it might be a worthwhile investment. Okay? All right, have a great day, and we'll see you all in 103 at some point. Have a great day. Hey, how you doing? I'm well, thanks. All right. Thanks, Coach.
Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You guys were awesome today. Thank you, sir. Yeah? Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. They work well. How you doing, Nick? I'm well. Didn't recognize you from behind. 